Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077 with me, see Waddy. We're picking up right where the last video left off. We've got the uh, flathead robot recovered, retrieved. We're now on our way to meet up with Jackie at Lizzie's bar. We're hopefully going to find some more information on this mission we've got to do. This, this, this heist to um, break into Arasaka and steal this chip. Somewhere there is a crime happening. should in a bit of a breach in front of me. Uh, have a short circuit. Got him. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, um, we've just taken care of a street crime. Got a little bit of a graphical bug there. Hey, I did some good there. I stopped these people. I stopped these people from shooting and killing each other by shooting and killing them. Isn't that like how justice works? You know? These people were going to shoot and kill each other unless if I hadn't have come along and shot and killed them. That's so funny. Why is my controller jumping around a bit? I could have put stashed a body in the back of the van for a bit of er er early stealth points. Do a bit of a breach protocol. E9 in uh, there is no E9. Can't get to a BD. There was no BD option available then. Frustrating when that happens. I like the way the police turned up over there. And didn't actually proceed to help me at all. You guys, do you guys realise there was a crime happening right over there? There was like people shooting at each other. And you guys are what? Just, just looking at a crashed car? Really? Just like police in real life, won't tackle real criminals and stop real crime, but they'd rather occupy themselves all day with the rubbish, the meaningless jobs. V, got a rat problem on my block. Who doesn't, right? Thing is, these rats are human-sized. Look just like tiger claws, too. Biggest one is a certain Taki Kinmochi. So do your fixer a solid and neutralize her ass, will you? Deeds attached. Neutralize her ass. Residents building at Cortez and Kennedy Street. I got a place at the block in Kabuki. Not many know about it. Welcome to the club. To keep it that way, problem is a certain tiger 
um, yeah, and friends, is set up a chinko operation right on my doorstep. Could mean trouble for me down the road. So we've got to find this 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 woman here with this funny hairstyle. Right, okay. We can do that. I did sell most of the loot and stuff that I got from the previous video as well, from going through that um, building and uh, retrieving all the... Um, Um, all the stuff from those Maelstrom people um, on our way to recovering the flathead. Um, we're doing quite well in the, the cash department. I've upgraded all my clothes as well with what I've looted and picked up. Oh. I'm doing quite a bit better now. Look at my V now. She's definitely all kitted out. Kitted and caboodled. I've even got a hat, I think. A reinforced cotton headband that messes with my hair. Yeah, we're not going to equip that. For the obvious reasons. It messes with my hair. Hello. Hey there, doll face. Interest you in a preem BD? Well, oh. not my first time. Don't remember you. Because I didn't get in through the front. Huh, get a load of this one. Right. Rules are simple. Someone catches your eye, you do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. No recording, no copping feels when the guards ain't looking. In you go. Have fun. Well, I'm though. not planning on copping any Welcome feels or anything like that, but thank you anyway. For your whatever it is you do. My, what a sweet little face you have. What a sweet little face I have. Thank you. I suppose that's another room. Um, the mocks. They're basically a bunch of sex workers who operate out of this bar and they're pretty uh, pretty known for being, you know, capable of taking care of themselves. Pretty dumped her already. Yeah, no surprise there. Sit at the bar and ask about Evelyn. This music's a bit more chilled out in here. Maybe you can tell me about it. Let's drink that, get a bit of hydration going. Slavov McAllister is in the news again. Again. Hey. Get you something. That looks like Judy standing there, who's a character that I don't know yet, alongside Evelyn, who is hiding behind her. So, curious, the name Lizzie's, that the owner? Not for a long while, no. And it's none too sweet a story. Oh, now I'm just flat interested. Real Lizzie ran a strip joint out of this place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. Girls were paid right, Insured, even had decent security. Good spot, all in all. Until? I guess it didn't last. No, Tiger Claws took care of that. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad ones. No hesitation, Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. Gang came back the next day. This was done. Tigers gave this place up to the mocks in the end, though, didn't they? Sort of. The Moxes had to make a deal with them. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. The big boss now is Susie Q. But the sign stayed up, out of respect. Biz booms to this day. Good. Um, I'm looking for Evelyn. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Know if she's here? Who's asking? 
Big tipper. A big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture, truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite, actually. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Hello? Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Mm. My tequila of choice. Sense on. Only tequila I drink. Hm. How would you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Right. Okay, can't choose that option because I don't have the skill points in it. So let's talk shop and the contract. Mind if we talk about the job? Heard you got something for me. But not here. Come with me. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. Okay. So, what Nothing can wrong. Really? Like me? Why don't you just tell me the truth? I just A told little you. vanilla and sprinkles. Cooking gear. Wax. Maybe electricity. We're gonna have a conversation. Jack's had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. Hmm. No idea if Dex exaggerates. A little, a lot. You got me. Just started working with him, in fact. Let's be honest. We don't know the guy. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. Then there's the other kind. Dex's kind. Come on. Can't leave that hanging. Headhunters. They lay their trust elsewhere, not in people, but in a thing. Their intuition. They bet on potential. And if they lose that bet, it's the last mistake they ever make. I'm hoping Dex's intuition has served him well in this case. Let's just talk business, please. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? I'm familiar with the franchise. Arasaka seems to have quite the touch with that hotel chain. But I gotta say, Kompeki and Tokyo's still leagues above the rest. The two are identical to each other. Japan's staff. The service can't be beat. Singapore, Paris, Washington. Ugh, all the rest act like charity case cousins by comparison. Well, it's hard to argue with that. True. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? In Night City? Huh. Guess the scream sheets weren't lying this time. It's on the lips of everyone in the city. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son, heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire, in town. <laughs> Please. Could it be? Empress prepared to cede his throne after 150 years? Doubt it. Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Yorinobu's got an army around him, I'm betting. If he's Top like, you know, like heir apparent. Been to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. 
Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why is that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Into. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. Seriously, though, he's my target. Yorinobu Arasaka, the son of the legendary Arasaka, who owns the I'm whole waiting. corporation. So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yuri's balls in a vice for years. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. Even so, it's still Yorinobu fucking Arasaka. So, what exactly have you got up your sleeve to deal with this situation? Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your tits perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch, aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Hmm. Nope, don't buy it. Netwatch's integrity rests on their neutrality. Why would they tarnish their rep by procuring stolen goods? Netwatch provides net security for all corporations and collects eddies in the millions for it. But in this day and age, everyone's in the game and no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. Okay, so what's Yorinobo slated to get in return for this, apart from rich? So what's Yorinobu do to walk away with? Unimportant. You focus on the biochip. What could cyberspace's watchers and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? That doesn't matter in the least. Because you'll make sure the transaction never happens and I get the chip. Okay. So where does Yorinobo keep the relic? I'm guessing probably on his person? Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. What's on this relic? One more thing. Data that's on the chip. What is it? Irrelevant, entirely. We're talking about data Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. Listen, V, the relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Just get the job done. I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. Heard a bit about Yorinobu. Studied finance and biotech in Tokyo, probably to please his father. Mm-hmm. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. Then Yorinobu cut himself off from the corp. Joined the Steel Dragons, Nomads, from Tokyo. Heard they were planning an Arasaka coup or its downfall. Hmm. That flash of youthful rebellion ended like it usually does. Yorinobu returned to the fold, but the bitter taste remained. You know your stuff. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has his own designs on the corp. Hmm. Could be another power-hungry corpo dick, like so many others. <laughs> Ever tried to imagine what life might be like for an emperor's son? You have everything, yet you are no one. Nothing. At least as long as you remain in Saburo Arasaka's shadow. I... sympathize. It's a vulnerability I understand well. And one you plan to exploit fully. Okay. Okay. What's next? What should just the say? Best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? 
Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits? Jacking off to in those boxes? No. What? It can be a very well, useful to tool. This week, for sure, good for okay? analyzing details, yeah, yeah, yeah. human perception, all right, all right, even boosted. Right, right. Doesn't mm -hmm. grasp. Mm -hmm, all exactly right. what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Wait, so you got Hold this up. brain dance? You need to see you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? No, not at all. Let's see this brain dance. Mm -hmm. Judy will help. She's a mox too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So you'll be a good girl, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. But what I am also is someone who likes to get paid. So before I meet up with your little friend. Hey, we weren't finished. No, we're not finished. But guess what? I'm stealing everything I can from you before. something goes horribly wrong because if anything i've learned from playing games like this over the years is that something is always going to go wrong brain dance quarterly it tells you all about brain dances Here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy, best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. You're gonna make me barf. Not bad. This hardware's top shelf. Sensory SIG amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors. Oh, top shelf hardware. Yeah, most of it's customized. Only thing factory are the casings. <laughs> Mod all this yourself? What do you think? Expression translator. Fuyutsuki, right? Thought the matrices on that series were fucked up. They were, but swapping out matrices is simple. And this was the only model that would support additional scan work. <coughs> <laughs> all right, all right. You compiled your BD yet. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. I need to get deep no, inside. That That's what her. she said. That wasn't what I said. Pack it in with that kind of talk. You disgusting, disgusting woman. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So? We drop V inside? Let her look, let her rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? What's so raw about it? What do you mean by raw? How's this differ from the ready-mades? Huh. Ready-mades, provided they're well-made, should feed you feelings and impressions you'd never have the chance to experience yourself in real space. But it's mass-market shit, so it's pre-crafted, hard-coded, fenced-in, and manageable. A raw one? Well, it's more like a virtue in Viro. Get to move around, look at things in detail. Editors use those layers to fish for juicier emotes and impulses, then use them to pad the BDs that go to market. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. Um, can I lose some more stuff, please? New releases, brain dances. I 
I've now got the crafting spec to be able to make rain dances. V, what you waiting for? Um, I guess not a lot, as I'm not allowed to go anywhere else at the minute. Uh, this seat is well used, by the way. Just so you know. Oh, okay. I now feel like I'm at Specsavers Opticians having my eyes tested again. Which row of letters looks clearer? The top one or the bottom one? First. The green or the red? Okay, hit me. <laughs> Just promise me it won't hurt. Better with it or won't. without? <laughs> <laughs> now sit still, look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm-hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sticks. Look smack into these two screens. But She's actually item. wanted. Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes. You're a crim, Judy. I should arrest you. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. I need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... Can't you just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Size won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. What did you choose? What'd you choose? Corner store hold up in Haywood. Real amateurs. Don't even know where I got it. Suits our needs perfectly, though. You ready? Okay. Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Is the gun? Down! Everybody! On the ground! What I see you kissing the flooring! Money! Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Hey! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! Whoa! Ah! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. That was... That was too much. Felt it could feel the guy's pain, his, his stress, his hope, hope wrapped up in something else. Mm-hmm. Probably took a booster just before. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. Oh, here we go again. Sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control in analysis mode. So move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Plan simple. Try it. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. I got it. All good. Neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing off of the creep. You go in the Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. 
Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat. The gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Flat simple. Do nothing okay. Odd. Okay, right here. Excellent. M one oh AF Lexington, high capacity now, magazine. Heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Okay, fuck! On your ah, little shitheads! Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? Hey? So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously, like it was happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Okie dokie. Go restock. I'll take the, the register. And a How about you suck a bag of dicks, okay. eh? We have a deal today on two flavors. Cuddy and yeah. Serpentine. Everybody! Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the roller's cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared, meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. Hella nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. On the ground! I wanna see you kissing the flooring! Mike! Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now! I will fucking drop you! I swear to God! Whoa! No! 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 See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision, then scan it. His own buddy shot him. His own chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. Okay, so that's interesting. Very interesting tool. Yeah, it's impressive, right? Too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. <laughs> anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? I don't know. I... Ugh, let's take a break. I still feel like that kid when... <sighs> yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Go ahead. Just need T-Buck to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Runner for my crew, security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Evelyn, I won't get a damn thing out of this without T-Bug. Judy, please. Ev, she wants to bring a runner in? What part of that don't you understand? How do I know she'll only perch in this footage, observe, not fuck with anything? Me. I'm your guarantee. Yeah, right. Help me. This one last time. I promise everything will work out, just like we planned. Okay, V. 
Call T Bug and we'll dive in. Okay, calling T Bug. Hey V, what's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Conpecky Plaza. It's a brain dance. Conpecky? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Judy and Evelyn. They're chill. They're helping me work through this BD. Uh-huh. All right. You gonna tell me what this is about? Listen. Need your help. Got no clue what to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. I wonder if that's a little Easter egg, 1779, because that's like a common now. port you open on your PC to play multiplayer you games. Ready? <laughs> okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire up, Judy. Eyes open. Gotta find out where Yorinobu's keeping the relic. You look like a cut of fuckable meat, are you? Evelyn. She. I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. I said no. They'll have my head for this. Then you shall perish for good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute. Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. Finish. I will scan all the audio we'll when I'm ready. We're going to watch now. the whole recording from Evelyn's point of view first. My father's a tired, visionless old greybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny, frozen bubble. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot. Wow. Champagne's utterly decent. Removed from reality, the taste boosted somehow? Stuck in nope. some fossilized vision of a world Same bubbly, you'll that be no longer in real space exists. Soon. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. So you are Yorinobu. Not it. In hmm, hung up. Go back to when they first start talking. Need to hear the whole thing. Ah. Sorry to make you wait. Business can be stupid. Hmm. It wasn't long. Not even long enough for me to grow bored. Is everything all right? You seem tense, edgy. A moment, it will pass. <sighs> I can get to work on that. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me. Only one, focus on me. Oh, got any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom. Nightstand. I've got an idea. Be right back. Be right back. Very nice. But come here already. Just a sec. Looking for the perfect thing. Ah, oh, you'll like this. He was checking his emails and stuff. It, it's like I'm really... V, eye on the prize, focus. I miss this. You. I know. Military grade cyberware detected. Cybernetic modifications, 96%. Danger. Extreme. 
Extreme caution advised. Alarm firmware's fresh, but saw excited birds chirping on a BVS. Something about lots of seeds falling through this sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their six. Shit, camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. Neat, are you? I said no. They'll have my head for this. Then. You shall perish for good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. Here in a drone, ventilation and cooling, servers gotta be fancy doodads in here. Need to be controlled. I need a minute to finish. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's a tired, visionless old graybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality, stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists, of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we won't now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must no, provide them. In Heard that? Relic docs gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. We will do that. Uh. Sorry to make you wait. Business can be stupid. Hmm. It wasn't long. Not even long enough for me to grow bored. Is everything all right? Is it just so oh, oh, got any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. What am I looking for then? Automated turret. Automated turrets. Latest scanner model. Systems all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? Externally, no way. Got to get in. Check out how they link into the system first. Mm-hmm. Looks like all their security systems are linked to the hotel subnet. We need the flathead. No other way to shut down these systems. Can't get around them ourselves. Nope. At least I'm fresh out of ideas. Well, that's what we're doing then. We're going to put the flathead in. Go there. Good. Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. Manual details a special temp controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So chips gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. Hey, what was that? Air conditioning, standard model for hotels of this caliber. Tip matches that stipulated in the docks, but no way the chip's hiding there. Too risky. Tip fluctuations, risk of damage. A moment. 
champagne and ice bucket. Oh, Donna Gies. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. You really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. <laughs> Refrigerator? Just a fancy ass fridge. Tip doesn't match the guidelines. Won't find a thing here. Right. Grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. Yorinobu's got the case here. Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Okay. We know where he's stashing it then. Secret floor safe. In his penthouse you everything suite. everything you need? Yep. That'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. Okay. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. My own brain dance machine? BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. Man, it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. We needed that recording, Judy. BD practically does our job for us. The BD will be the death of us. Seriously. If Arasaka finds out you have it, you're dead. I'm dead. Judy. Relax. Nobody will ever know. Yeah, what Evelyn said. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. V, one sec. One sec. Just gonna have a quick rummage back here, see if there's any loot. You know, anything that I need to uh, relieve young, uh, young, uh, covered in really bad tattoos. Young little miss covered in bad tattoos of before we leave. Thanks, Judy. Really. And don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Let's walk. Yes, let's walk. Well, what do you think? Connection to Yorinobu. What's his nature exactly? It seems like you and him are uh, uh, horizontal tango partners. I think I see how you know so much about Yorinobu. It's simple. Men like pillow talk a bit too much. So it's just about the sex. Biz, and biz only. You're sure Yorinobu doesn't expect this kind of move from you? <laughs> He's got no idea, trust me. He's too busy with Netwatch to give me that kind of attention. Besides, even if some suspicion takes root in his mind, it shouldn't matter. He won't react in time. And that's something you'll handle, right? Not afraid they'll tie you to the heist? You're not worried? Arasaka will flag and screen anyone who's had dealings with Yorinobu. Oh, they'll have a long list then. Packed full of big names. Much bigger than mine. You tell me who they check first. Corpo hotshots and cutthroats? Or a little bedroom plaything like me? Hmm. You sure everything's under control? 
Intel on Yorinobu, the chip, the BD from Compeki. Winds are right, plan's perfect. A job like this comes one in a million. Hmm, thanks. Now the punchline, please. Just sounds too good to be true. What's the catch? Cold feet. Are you looking to get out of it? I want to know if you're really in control here. That you're not sending me into the sort of shit I can't wait out of. V, I have zero reasons to haze you. We're in this together. Really. Trust me that I got this. Mm, I'm not sure I trust you. I've only just met you. And you seem a bit dodgy. So, what now? V, do this job for me. I mean me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. You want to haze our fixer? You want to fuck over our fixer. I knew something was up. Dex is a middleman. And a useless one at this point. Evelyn, you don't mess with fixers. That's the one rule every merc in this city knows and actually follows. But if we're smart... Doesn't matter. A mistake like that'll cost you your rep. And without a rep, you're nobody. You sure you want to do this? Better ask yourself that question. Do you want to spend the rest of your days blasting scabs? Or become a legend overnight? Oh, I want to become a legend. Your choice. I definitely want to become a daily legend. If I agree, there'll be hell to pay, for sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer's the only one you'll ever get. Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. Okie dokie. They want me to call Dex now. How things looking, Miss V? Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. We're all set. Ready to go. What now? Now we do the job I hired you to do. Grabbing that biochip. Sorry, we'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. I'll do whatever I See can. you there. Great. Be there in no time. See you, Miss V. 4 a.m. last night. Gina and Lisa. It'll be just like you said. And she's rattling on about the But I head yeah, to the afterlife, which yeah. is another club. Keep you posted. Okay, Jackie, will do. Mom, hey, got a little problem. Flying stiff, yeah. Money. So what we'll do is we'll head over to the uh there a problem? Nope. No problem. So yeah, next thing. Next thing we're gonna do is uh, head over to the afterlife then. Meet up with Dex and probably everybody else and work out what our heist plan is going to be to get this chip from Arasaka Tower and uh, to relieve Yorinobo of his, uh, of his good things. So that is what we're going to do in the next episode. For now, I'm going to leave you here. So thank you for watching. Leave your likes on the video, leave your comments on the video, subscribe to the channel, share the video everywhere you see fit. I'll see you all again very soon in the next episode. Goodbye for now, folks.